On Wednesday, Singapore announced that several Myanmar nationals would be deported over their links with a terror group. They raised funds for the Arakan Army, otherwise known as AA, a 7,000 strong organization which has been involved in violent attacks in Myanmar. For more, we're joined by Dr. Minzor. He's the executive director at the Myanmar Institute for Peace and Security. Good evening, Dr. Min. Can you share? Perhaps some background on this. How did the traces of AA come into existence here in Singapore? The Arakan Army AA was established in 2009 by young uh, Rakhine nationalists in the uh, northern part of Myanmar when a bigger armed groups called Kachin Independence Army uh, helped them establish the food hall. So in 2012, 2016, uh, 2017, when the Rohingya crisis broke out uh, and also the rise of ASO, many Arakanese felt insecure. At the same time, the Arakan is uh, one of the poorest states in Myanmar, and they did feel the resentment against the Burman national, and they felt they were occupied by those Burmans. But on the other hand, the government side, uh, they couldn't accept any establishment of the armed groups in Rakhine because the Rakhine has been free of armed insurgency since uh, 90s. Uh, so the Arakan army, uh, they tried to mobilize their public and they did have attractions and they did attract a lot of Rakhine national and diaspora uh, uh, in many countries, including Singapore. So uh, what happened in Singapore is one of the attempts by the Arakan army to mobilize uh, their diaspora and also collect funds uh, from many uh, supporters uh, to, to support their nationalist struggles in Rakhine State. Dr. Minzo, so why Singapore? Why specifically choose Singapore for its fundraising efforts then? Well, Singapore is just uh, one of the countries they've been operating. Well, we do apologize. We seem to have lost our connection there with um, Dr. Minzo, and he's the executive director at the Myanmar Institute for Peace and Security. And we will try and see if we can connect back to him.